Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to do a simple scatter plot using Excel. And this is without any add in or third party um, software. It comes with every copy of Excel. It's easy to do, it's one of the best things Excel does. Um, and so, what we need are two columns of data, both numeric or quantitative. Right? And so, in this case, um, we're going to do temperature and cricket chirps, the rate of cricket chirps, chirps per minute. And as you can see, as the temperature gets warmer, the rate of cricket chirps increases. In any case, I want to depict that with a scatter plot. Um, so it's really easy. I'm just going to highlight both of these columns simultaneously. Uh, the first column will be along the x-axis, or the horizontal axis, and the second column will be along the vertical axis, the y-axis. So um, all I do is go to Insert, over to Scatter, choose my first one, and there's my scatter plot. It's a lacking a little detail. I usually like to have an X label, a Y label, and a title. So if I go over here, and there's all sorts of different ones to choose. You can just um, maybe maybe pick that one. And what it does is it labels, for, what, for some reason or other, just that one point. Um, if you do this one, it's going to label all the points. Um, but I know that's a little too busy for me. I'm going to go to the first op option here, the top left. And what that does is it gives me an X label, a Y label, a title. And so there's only one scatter plot. There's only um, one set of variables being plotted here. I'm going to get rid of that. And all I did was uh, left click on it and then hit backspace and it disappears. So let's see, the X axis, that represents the temperature, right? So all I do is put my cursor on there, left click, and then just start typing. And it shows up, typing shows up here in the function box. Um, and then you hit enter and it shows up now down here as the X label. And then the Y label, that is the um, chirps uh, in per minute. All right, so it's a rate of cricket chirps. And I'll give it a table, we'll call it um, temperature versus cricket chirps. How's that? And so there you go. You're pretty much uh, done. You can change some things. You know, if you, if you want to make your labels a little bigger, if I just left click on there, go to home, I can change the font size to something a little bigger. You know, maybe the same thing for both of these. 12 point, make it a little bigger. Um, my dots, if I don't like triangles, if I right click on any one of these, I can go to format data series. Marker options, the automatic just fills in whatever um, the algorithm tells it to, but you can go to built-in options here. I prefer circles for whatever reason. Uh, let's see, let's make them a little bigger. All right, and then we'll fill them. I'll do a solid fill and I'll make them uh, purple. Whatever, doesn't make any difference. And there you go. So it's easy to make scatter plots. It's one of the things that Excel is best at. You know, if, if you have the data set up in the right format, you can have yourself a nice scatter plot in just a few clicks. And so that's it. Scatter plots, Excel, pretty easy. Bye.